since uh, summer league ended, what's been uh, kind of just your workout regimen and uh, what's been your focus kind of heading into your season? Yeah, well, I've been here the uh, the whole time, you know, just trying to get better every day. Um, and, you know, just just trying to improve all aspects of my game. So, Braxton, what, what brought you to Denver? What was kind of the, the steps that brought you from uh, where you were to now being in my life? Um, well, I did summer league with Dallas. Uh, it was a good, good opportunity with them, good organization. I uh, got the call from Denver. Uh, after my last game in Dallas, and I was like, yeah, let me just go ahead and sign with the team. Um, and it's been a, a great experience ever since then. So. Hunter, what, what's your communication with Coach Malone and the organization about sort of what they want your role to be and what they sort of expect you to see? Yeah, well, right now I'm just trying to, you know, soak in everything I can, learn as much as I can, and just try and continue to get better. Um, we haven't really talked about a specific role or anything like that. Um, so, you know, I'm just taking it day by day and, you know, Whenever my name's called, whatever the team needs me to do, that's what I'm going to focus on doing. What's it like to be on a team where that trophy's up on the podium with you right now? Uh, it's pretty surreal, to be honest with you. There was a, a lot of talk around this time last year about how close the team was already, working out together, talking with each other, just a good energy even before camp. I know you can't juxtapose that, but do you guys get a similar vibe already this year? Guys in there working together and talking? Yeah, and I think, you know, the thing that, from the outside looking in, that made the team so special last year that I think is very similar this year is, you know, just a lot of unselfish guys and just guys that want to win, you know, not too worried about individual accolades or things like that, but, uh, you know, just keeping winning the main thing. I mean, I, I don't have a specific number, um, but, you know, there's been reps upon reps that have, uh, you know, been put in going back to a week after the college season ended up until now, so. Is it an adjustment? Uh, yeah, I mean, it is an adjustment, um, but I think, you know, the reps really last spring throughout my pre-draft process are um, help, helped me really get adjusted, so. Yeah, absolutely. Um, you know, I like to think of myself as a pretty confident guy, and I just go out there and, you know, try and play as hard as I can and do whatever I can to help the team win. So that's just what I'm going to keep trying to do. Hunter, you mentioned being an outdoorsman. Have you had a chance to do any of that here in Colorado? So far? Uh, well, I haven't done any fishing or hunting, but I have been up uh, been up to the mountains, you know, been on a couple hikes. Um, so. Then what do you think? Oh, I mean, it's awesome. <laughs> yeah, the mountains are huge. <laughs> <laughs> they're they're a lot bigger than the East Coast Mountains. I'll tell you that. Uh, Hunter, just how would you the workouts this summer? How would you compare them to what you went through in college? In what ways are they, have they been different? Um, you know, there's there's a few similar things. Uh, throughout this summer, I think here we have definitely played more five on five than we would in the summertime uh, in college, and. Um, maybe not as much situational. That's one thing that we really focused on in college uh, in the off season. So, Jay, you talked about how Jamal's kind of been giving some advice. Mm -hmm. Have you had any players that reach out to you, or have you been giving any advice from any of the guys on the roster last year? Yeah, actually, a lot of guys. Um, you know, it's been it's been surprising to me how welcoming everyone's been. Um, you know, really just trying to help me in any way that they can, and I, I just really appreciate that. So. Um, I mean, it's been several guys, you know, like Jamal, um, Colin, P. Watt, um, so among others. Braxton, this is for both of you guys also, Braxton. Um, Jalen said he just met Nicola just before coming down to the podium. Have you guys had a chance to talk to him at all? And, and, and if so, what was that inter interaction like? Uh, yeah, I haven't seen him yet, so I haven't met him. Um, but yeah, he's, I've heard good things about him, funny stories. So I think he's a cool guy, what I've heard. Uh, it'll be interesting to meet him for sure. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I haven't either. Yeah. Hunter, um, I've heard people describe your defense as better <coughs> than expected. Mm -hmm. uh, how would you evaluate your, your defensive uh, abilities? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I mean, I think I need to continue to improve, but, uh, you know, I just go out there and try and play as hard as I can, and I think that translates especially to the defensive end. So, so Hunter, is, when he was summer league, what do you feel like the biggest difference was between playing in college and playing in summer league? 
Uh, definitely the spacing, especially on offense. Um, and it makes defense harder. But there's so much spacing uh, that's just not there in college because the three-point line is um, farther back. Um, I just think it's a, a huge difference. Uh, well, that wasn't my journey. Maybe that was his, but I, I was on the bench quite often uh, early in my college career. So honestly, I think that's helped prepare me um, for you know maybe the role I'll have this year. Um, so I, I'm just going to do whatever I can to you know help the team win, no matter what my role is. So. Braxton, have you had conversations with the gold and, and their staff? Uh, no, I haven't actually. No. Braxton, how do you see yourself uh, contributing to the Nuggets when you can get a chance? Um, just with whatever they need. Uh, defensively, I can play guard one through four. Offensively, play one through four. Um, so just try and make guys' uh, life a little easier. Um, like I said, guarding, rebounding, defending, whatever it might be. For both of you, what part of your game flies under the radar? <coughs> For me, I just think it's, uh, you know, and I, I try to continue to improve on this, but just playmaking ability, you know, like putting the ball on the floor and passing ability. Playmaking and shooting, probably for me. So. All right, thank you, fellas. All right, thank you. Thank you, guys.